Welcome to today's Sado Khan Saturday. So today's technique is the combination of knife hand block with a spear hand poke. One of the concepts of uh, striking, of kata, of hand positions is what's called the implied strike. Some call it hidden. A guy was spy spying over the wall watching a karate practice and so they decided to hide something. It's not so much hidden as implied. We run into this with morote uke, both versions with the palm up version. Um, Ota sensei from the Matsubayashi lineage very much teaches that the morote uke is actually a block with a strike or a block with a strike. In the Kempo systems, it's very much overtly, which I, the way I learned it, as well as with the Shaolin, where they block and, and punch through. So the same concept here is typically we use this hand. We don't put it, we don't hit ourselves in the, in the center and go back to the early um, blocking videos that I did way back over a year ago. We don't hit ourselves. Our hand comes near the elbow and across. So it's actually my forearm that's laying on my body. This allows us to perform in wrestling, what's called the wizard, where we wrap the arm. But one of the simpler, more omote, forward look, it is what it looks like applications, uses the implied strike. So we'd step into our square stance, hands relaxed, whipping with the upper body, and from here shift, I'm going in that direction, shift and nukite. This hand, if I'm facing camera, this hand is essentially already pointed right at the solar plexus. So as I strike, I'm simply propelling it forward like a spear, spear hand poke, nukite, from my hip, generate it, pushing my elbow straight forward into the strike. Hands back, whipping, nukite. Now, about the hands back, in, and again, I may have, this may be redundant, in Taekwondo, for example, they would do the, the back stance and bring the hands way up and way across and they'd hit themselves and this hand has to be perfectly at a 45 degree angle with a 45 degree tilt. And I had one instructor to actually get out a, a little carpenter square and measure to make sure everything was exactly aligned. Ridiculous. Hands are relaxed and as I think I taught earlier, this actually can be a block. Oh no, I shielded my face, now I can wrap his arm and strike. Okay, but a second option is I shield my face from one, he retracts the hand that he punched with, I block at the other side, which creates the opening to drive the spear hand in. So that's the combination we're doing here. Square stance, shitouke, nukite. Shitouke, nukite. Moving forward and backwards. Second way to do this now, we also use the cat stance. In the cat stance, our knife hand block is performed slightly differently. If you look at the way most of our Sado Khan group performs, the end of kata like Wansu, Hanaku, uh, Pinyan Yonan, some others, when we step back at the end in a cat stance, we don't do a full shoulder whip because I'm essentially only on one leg and doing a shoulder whip block is, is not powerful and balanced, and I'm going to overextend myself. In square stance, I'm fixed. I can whip that out pretty strong. In a cat stance, we tend to go backhand, creating almost a shelf under the elbow without touching, and into the knife hand block. Coming back the same way as we would in square stance, but preceding one hand slightly before the other. It's what's known as a double circle block. In some of the older Matsumura or Matsumura lineages, they actually make it a press and push instead of the, the block moving at this arc angle. It's more of a forward push. So there are a variety of ways that we perform this. For ours in Sato Khan, utilizing what we derive from kata, we step to our cat stance, one, two. Now we move Zenkutsudachi. 
Cat stance one, two. Zen Kutsudachi Nukite. One, two. Nukite. One, two. Nukite. Now, moving backwards, we take a full step and draw in. Pull that back foot in, or the front foot in toward the back. Same block, spear. Same block, spear. So I'm stepping a full step, prepping, and then nukite. Now there are a variety of other applications for this as well. We could block, grab the head, break the neck. We could block, grab the arm, break under the arm. If your fingers are conditioned and you've worked on them and you've done your, your fingertips striking on your targets, then perhaps your nukite is strong enough to combatively function. But if not, how hard is it to change that to a punch, vertical or full twisting punch? The concept of this is derived from the same idea as the morotuke. Um, a Hachiota from the Matsubayashi lineage teaches very much that this morote position is the implied hit. Same thing here, the implied hit. So we're using that same concept, okay? That's our combination for today. Shitoki nukite. Shitoki nukite. And then cat stance. Same way. That's it, shitoki nukite combination. Working with the shifting from stance to stance putting hip into it, still not losing the proper performance of our stool. And that's it for today. As always, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, make a comment, tell a joke, ask a question. And until next week, keep practicing.